Hey guys, today we're going to be finishing up the trunk of the Nova. That way we can get it ready for the new fuel system that's going to go in there and some of the battery relocation and everything else. So we're going to be using a product that I've used on the bed liner of the truck and that is Raptor protective coating. So when I purchased the kit for the truck, I intentionally bought a couple extra bottles. That way I'd be able to put it in the trunk of the Nova and then that way we'd have a textured coating. As somebody who has experience using this product on other projects, I can tell you this product is really good. Highly recommend it and there's a link to it in the description below. If you're new to the channel, you need to understand like kind of where we started with the trunk. So I had to cut a lot of the trunk out because it was just all rusted and for whatever reason, the trunk seal on these is known for leaking really badly. It just holds water down there and then just corrodes everything out. So even the taillights can leak really bad and then it all just dumps water in there. If you have one of these fourth gen Novas, you know what I'm talking about. It's like a pool after a hard rain in there. First of all, I put two new quarters on both sides. So that's all done. And then from the inside, there's a little flange that I have to kind of like fill in with some body filler just to make sure it's all watertight. It just looks better too. So we're gonna make sure that that's all blended in. That way you can't see it from the inside. It looks smooth and it's just clean. So after welding in the new metal, we went through and hit it with some self-etching primer. Um, there were little pinholes here and there that we had to fill in with just some body filler. Again, I'm not going for perfection on this. I just wanted to make it a solid trunk again that was going to be able to hold some weight and then hopefully hold up to some pretty hard launches one day. So after we got all the holes filled in, we had to hit it with a DA sander just to get everything roughed up, ready for this texture coating. We hit it with POR15. Um, it's just going to protect it from further rust. And if applied correctly, it's essentially like a water barrier for your metal. That brings us to this point right here where we're going to start prepping the inside of the corner panels and make sure that it's all going to look smooth and even fill any holes that are left from maybe some burn throughs on welding. So we're going to start by applying a thin coat of body filler. Hey guys, if you made it to this point in the video, I just want to say thank you. We've applied the body filler to the passenger side. We're just waiting on that to dry so we can sand it down, get everything ready, and then we'll be ready to put the spray in. After looking at the analytics, it looks like most of the people who watch the videos are not subscribed to the YouTube channel. So if you could just go and hit the subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate that and would help me to grow the channel and keep making awesome content like this. All right, so when you order the kit, it comes with this gun. And it's got this little straw that goes down in the bottle. And then literally the gun just screws onto the bottle once you mix the contents into the bottle, which you'll obviously see that on time lapse. Also comes with a regulator. It's not included on all of them, but it is included in most of the kits. Like my other video, we're going for a coarse texture. So we're gonna spray it at about 45 PSI flowing. So you gotta make sure that the setting is when it's flowing. I found on my projects that when the gun is flowing at 45, that's what you want to set it to for a nice coarse texture. We have a normal air compressor with a line going to a couple water filters. And as you can see, they're very dry. We've been running this for long enough now that if there was any kind of moisture in there, it's already out. So everything's good. I do also have a regulator here. We're not going to worry about that. We're just going to worry about having 45 PSI at the gun. That way we make sure that it has a nice texture to it. All right, these are the products. So basically you have your regular protective coating and then you have a hardener. You're gonna mix the hardener into the bottle, put the cap on, shake it up, take the cap off, put the gun in, screw the gun on, and then you just shoot it. It's super easy. So they gave me a bigger container of this, but really usually most of the kits just come with a small bottle and it's a perfect amount where you just pour the entire bottle in there put the cap on, shake it up. So there's no measuring or anything like that. I went ahead and went with the black, that way I could do the truck bed as well as the trunk of the Nova. So we're gonna use black on this. You can use whatever color you want. They even have a tenable version, but you just need to make sure that you're buying the right one whenever you go and follow these links to buy this. Again, I highly recommend this stuff. It's super affordable. And if you wanna go check it out, there's a link in my description. All 
All right, guys, so we're finished up here and everything is looking really, really good. So this was months of work to get it to this point, not consistent work, but obviously just doing things here and there as I could. And then I'm so glad I did because look at this, this is really good. One thing that may look a little different than the setup that you have in your fourth gen Nova might be right here because I kind of notched it back a little bit. That way I could get a nice flat area here to put a fuel cell. This is two coats of Raptor liner, which is exactly what the instructions say to do. Just keep in mind that we cut all this stuff out down through here. But as you can see, the texture is nice and consistent. Not that it matters because obviously it's in the trunk and nobody will see it unless the lid's open. But yeah, very happy with the way this turned out. All right, guys, again, the products I've used in this video are going to be linked down below from the POR 15 to the Raptor liner. They're all going to be down in the description below. Check them out if you're interested. Also, if you're interested in seeing more of the work involved to get the trunk looking like we did now, check out those videos. I'll link to them up here in the corner. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so we can keep growing things like this. And as a quick reminder, there's plenty of awesome content coming next year for this thing, especially when we take it to the drag strip, which is the ultimate goal. So um, we're just gonna continue building this. The EFI kit did come in, so it'll be fuel injected and that'll also be coming very, very soon. And now we can finally start with the fuel system build and everything like that. So, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. But before you go, check out this picture of the Christmas tree that I just put up in my pole barn.